I have our previous exercise on door jump details opened. So please open it also together with the uh, current drawing file that we are working with. Okay. So open the door jump details that we have created uh, previously. And on our A3 title block uh, drawing uh, file, let's uh, rename it. So let's save it as, as beam detail layout and again save it as 2013 version so that your instructor could uh, check it if uh, you are required to submit and i'm saving it onto my documents also click on save having saved our current drawing let's go to model space or model tab and select all our existing title block and click E and then enter to erase them. And let's go back to A3 sheet layout tab and then quick save so control S. And let's try to lock the layers for our title block so LA enter and let's lock all these layers. And then close oh we have not assigned a layer for our text so select on text and let's just use first for the meantime uh, tb.1 and just close okay so everything now could not be selected or modified because we lock all the layers for our title block so let's just uh, close it now, on door jump details, let's uh, control A to select all. So, control A to select all. And then, control C to copy all of that selection. And then, let's go back to beam detail layout. And then, click on model space or model tab. And then, control V. And then specify insertion point. Let's just drag it downwards near our origin. So click. And maybe that's uh, good enough. So let's go back to A3 sheet. So click on that. And currently we don't have a viewport because we uh, erased that a while ago. On the layout too, of course, we have there the uh, viewport. So on A3 sheet, we type MV to create a new viewport. So MV, enter, and provides you different options. Okay. So the current option here is to, we could fit or we could click, drag, click. So let's try first the fit. So select that again and then E, enter, and then array. Oh, we are drawing on the lock uh, layer. We forgot to change it. So escape. And then we try to go to LA first. And then unlock first the TB1. We have uh, inserted our viewport using a lock layer so we cannot delete it. Okay. So we unlock it first and then close. Then select and then erase so go back again to layers enter and then let's lock this one and then let's use uh, no it's better to create a new layer so create a new layer and let's name it as uh, BP underscore one okay and red continuous that would be fine Then just click outside to accept the change and then double click on bp1 to make it current so that will be our uh, working line weight or layer red point one then close oh let's create another viewport also so where is that so click on this and then new layer and then bp underscore two let's assign a uh, different color Let's use two. Okay. 
and let's go here and let's click on this okay and we ascribe this particular layer not to be plotted so viewport 2 which is color yellow will not be plotted uh, viewport 1 which is color red will be plotted so let's just close it and then control s again to quick save now mv again create a viewport enter and let's try to use the fit okay so just hit enter since it's already pre-selected for us so enter and the viewport why is that locked i forgot to unlock it okay because it copied the uh, initially selected or current viewport by the way when we create let's go to layers when we create a new layer the new layer will copy the uh, current properties of a current layer so i'm sorry we, we, we forgot to look at that so anyway we unlock already b b1 and b2 so that would be fine and then close and you notice that our viewport fits the entirety of our paper and we could just uh, select that and i snap that towards our uh, borderline but of course we don't want it because it still occupies our uh, title block here so having it selected e again to erase so let's just explore some of the functionalities of the mv command so mv enter and let's use a uh, polygon okay so this could be uh, better we could uh, click 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 and use the existing outline of our border and title block so close c enter and there our viewport now occupies only the boundaries within the border and outside of our title block so i could use that uh, option also and let's try to just adjust it there almost half so adjust it to the midpoint so we created there a uh, viewport at the midpoint now let's uh, double click inside the newly created viewport and let's try to zoom in I mean zoom out to see our drawing okay and currently the scale is set to this particular fraction per point and let's try to use 1 is to 10 and let's try 1 is to 2 and we cannot see it already we just set it to 1 is to 10 and then just center the geometries and let's create another viewport here so mv enter let's try to use uh, just a simple rectangle so from this towards the midpoint again so control midpoint then let's try to zoom in to our detail itself okay I'll just zoom out, uh, zoom in to our paper so that you could see. So double click again inside. And then let's use scale 1 is to 2 this time. So that's the scale 1 is to 2. To be safe in panning, we just type P to pan rather than using the scroll wheel. We might accidentally uh, use the scroll wheel and then recalibrate our uh, scale and after doing that let's type ps or oh, escape first escape and then ps enter to exit uh, the model space now in this area let's try to create another viewport create uh using bp uh, 2 and 
let's create a circle. Okay? So, circle using uh, two point. So, two point. And let's use center. I mean midpoint. So, from this midpoint towards this perpendicular. So, that's our B part. And let's try to create this into a viewport okay so let's type mv enter let's use object okay so click on object or type o enter and let's select the circle okay and let's select our viewport by window crossing so window crossing and then let's set a uh, scale for it let's still use one to two and then double click inside oh, that's too big maybe let's use one to four maybe let's use one is to ten again this is just to explore the capability of the viewports so double click outside the viewport and we could uh, normally use this for uh, vicinity maps so to create a vignette uh, borderless uh, effect okay so let's try to plot this so control p and then preview you would see that the bp2 viewport did not plot while the uh, rectangular uh, bp1 will plot so you can control if you want the viewport layers to plot or not to plot so that's the convenience of using layers or providing layers for our objects so just press escape first to exit the preview then just uh, cancel this one and do a quick save to so control s